What's going on, family? This is Marcus, your host and moderator of the No Hezzy Hoopcast. I'm so excited to be on this week. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to cover. But before we get into that, do me and do uh, the fellas a huge favor and click the subscribe button. Also, click the bell notification so you can be notified every time we go live, which is going to be every single Monday. We're going to be talking hoops and we got a lot to cover. Fellas, how you doing? Black, Leak. Hey, I'm feeling good, man. I feel really good. Lee? Hey, man. <clears throat> I'm happy to be here. It's a blessing to be doing this show with y'all. Shout out to all the viewers checking in. I'm sure the comments is about to get popping in a little bit from uh, what's happened over the last couple of days. But uh, I'm good. To, I'm glad to be back, man. It's a good Monday. So shout out to everybody about to tune in, man. Absolutely. Be sure to share this, y'all. If you're peeping this out live, share this with your people. We want to get as many people in the building as possible. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with reviewing last week's pickums. Uh, fellas, let's get into how many wins and how many losses you got. Black, let's start with you, man. How many did you get? I didn't do so good this week, y'all. Uh. <laughs> I, uh, I got five out of the 14 games correct. Lee, okay. did you do better? You know what, man? Hold up. You know what? There, there's two games that I didn't process yet. So let me let me. You know, I'm on CP time. So let me <laughs> let me get these two games real quick. So it was the Denver and Utah. Uh, Denver, I mean Utah and San Antonio. So Utah won. I got that right. And then Portland versus GS, and I had Portland, and I obviously got that wrong. So let's see. The suspense. Yeah. <laughs> I smell voter fraud. Right. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, demand, I, got, I demand a, re, a recount. <laughs> I got six right. So, Black, you won this one, right? I got six right. Nah, you won. How many did you get? Five. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. Right. Then. Hey, so it looks like we was both trash this week, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was I was just trying to keep it suspenseful with you, man. That's all it was. <laughs> hey, shout out to David Jarvis. What up, man? Yo, I see somebody, wait, somebody got that notification bell on. That's what's up. That's what's up. So it looks like Leak, you won it this week, and Black, you won last week. Yup, we won in one. One and one. One and one. We gonna we gonna keep this going, and uh, we are gonna tally up who wins at the end of the year, and right. You know, we are gonna have some prize for the winner. So. Hey, hopefully y'all ain't uh, basing your your uh, fan duel off of these picks, though. Right. Be real with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, all right, fellas. So let's get into week two uh, of the NBA. Man, we had we got a lot of narratives to discuss, but let's start with the highlights uh, of last week. We had some great games. We had a great game between uh, Brooklyn and the Atlanta Hawks. Man, so let's get to that. Let's check that. Check out some highlights from that game. Fellas, feel free to react. Yeah. Yeah. We'll start off in the fourth quarter. So I think this is a good place. Uh who is that? I'm a third Shamit? Yeah, no, they, uh, 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 they call him TLC. It's their Frenchman. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Hey, Bogey's fitting in pretty nice over there, it seems. Yo, mm -hmm. Collins looks strong, right? Absolutely. Yeah. KD. Oh. Mm, uh -huh. Yeah. What's Solomon Hill going to do with that, right? Right. <laughs> Pull up. Curry. Man, so textbook. Uh, off the PR. Ooh, yep. Look at, like shooting right over. He shoots right over people. Literally yeah. on top of people. Harris. Joe Harris. Specialist. Three-point specialist. Lobs. Oh, Nice, nice. I've noticed with the Nets, man, they uh, 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 they have a lot of turnovers, guys. I don't know if you guys have peaked uh, much of their games, but it seems like that's kind of that seems like a a, a a detriment to to them right now, and the reason mm. why they're kind of on a little uh, downslide. Mm. Ooh, Ooh that's side step. Man, I like that, bro, bro. Look at the score man. too: one thirty to one twenty eight. Oh, no oh my. Yeah, yeah, see, hey, he's a good Collins. Collins. Hey, 
Collins got dropped like a like a linebacker when a when a running back comes through the hole, right? Look, listen, man. Hey, look. If you're playing defense uh, nine times out of ten, you might touch earth, man. But that just doesn't look good. It's not aesthetically <laughs> pleasing. That's all right. Ooh, that was a very strong euro step. A huge euro. <laughs> uh who was guarding him? Is that reddish? Man, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Trey. Nice Trey. Woo. That's a cool shot. Right? That, who is number 12? Is that Cam Reddish? Yeah, that's Cam Reddish. Or no, no, no. That's um that's uh Hunter. Ah, uh, uh, Hunter yeah. got DeAndre Hunter has been dogged the last three possessions. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, he's their defensive body, their wing body. Yeah. Just knocked that down. That was nice. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Ice Trey. Trey. Yeah. I mean, there's over. no defense being played out there, is there, guys? Nice. Right, right. Jeez. 145-141 in a regulation <laughs> game. That's NBA Live numbers. Right, right. <laughs> Man, that was that like a pretty good game though. Absolutely. Coach, Coach Wooden is, is rolling in his grave right now. Looking yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> so we got a few more highlights. Uh I think this one is going to be Rockets Kings for yes. uh, for our 916 family. This was a good game. This was a good game. Shout hey man, y'all like Kings fans. Hey, and hey, the Kings the Kings look solid this year, man. Don't don't, you know what I mean? Don't let these games uh, get you down. Yeah, I agree. I know you guys don't like the jerseys. I don't think they're bad, but I do agree that it, it's a little too many teams trying to do this little colorway, right? Yeah. It's like, yo, is the Kings playing the Kings right now? Right. 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 And it is native to the Kings, so it's yeah. like, yo. Ooh. Hey, I, I tell you what, man. I watched this game, man. This was a very exciting game. James Absolutely. Harden looked lazy in the first half and then ended the game with like 36 points. <laughs> yeah. And John Wall's looking solid too. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I, and I, you know what I mean? I haven't shown John Wall a lot of love, but uh I'm glad to see I'm glad to see him healthy and in yeah. shape, all of that. Look at that. Uh David oh, so I'll just put it up. Uh David Jarvis, will Brooklyn team chemistry work in the playoffs? Run against teams that have been long together. That's that's that that's definitely that's the question, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> definitely the question. I think I think by that time they will have worked out the kinks. Mm. Uh, I, I I would like to think that. Um, but you're definitely seeing some growing pains right now. Uh, yeah. Yesterday I was watching the game, uh, and Kyrie called a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, we're we're oh. gonna see. Uh man, Harden is as thick as I don't know what. <laughs> this brother. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, James Harden looked like he definitely did not take care of himself. <laughs> right. right. Nice yeah. shovel pass to the corner. Yep. Halliburton. Yeah, Burton. Mm. Mm. Yo, man, he's like, been very – hey, you cannot leave Halliburton open at this nah, point. No. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. And we'll get to more of him as the show goes on as well. Look at Harden. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find a way out. Look at his fat self. Look at his fat self down there, man. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, uh, Buddy Hill's body language when he doesn't get the ball back here. Look at him. Look at – yeah. yeah. That's unacceptable. I'm over that chucker too, man. Hey, yeah. look. Hey, he has a tendency to chuck in the clutch, man. And it's not always effective. It's not always efficient. I agree. I agree. But hey, at, at some point, you do want him taking a shot at some point. But uh, I agree, man. It, 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 could, it could get pretty bad with him. Yeah. Yeah. So, fellas, moving right along, man, to our next topic, which are injuries. We know injuries are part of the game. Uh, but we have a few injuries we want to talk about here. One being John Morant of the Memphis Grizzlies. He'll be out three to five weeks with a grade two ankle sprain. Then we have, of course, Spencer Dinwiddie 
of Brooklyn, who's out for the year with a torn ACL. And, uh, we also have LaMarcus Aldridge, who's been nicked. He hasn't played this year. So my question, uh, gentlemen, which of those injuries or any other ones you can think of are the most impactful, in your opinion? Uh, Lee, we'll start with you. Man, I definitely, I'm definitely going to go with uh, uh, John ja Morant's injury. Yeah. Um, and the reason why is because the Nets have KD. Uh, obviously, Spencer Dinwiddie is bad because the Nets are a contender on the East. But they do have Kyrie. They do have KD. They even have Karis LeVert coming off the bench. They got Joe Harris. They got a numerous amount of guys they can kind of half step up. Nobody on Memphis can do what John ja Moran does. And Memphis is one of those teams that's going to be kicking, scratching, and crawling to get in the eighth seed or the seventh seed. So, you know, they need all the games they can. They need all the wins they can. And, you know, the way they get their wins is, is through Josh. So I definitely think that's that's going to have the most impact on a team as far as injured players right now. I agree with that. I think, uh, I mean, obviously losing a player like Dinwiddie for the entire season doesn't that's that, that doesn't sit well. Uh, for Nets fans, I'm sure. But uh, like Leek said, I mean, I don't even – who is the backup point guard for Memphis right now? I don't know. Uh, Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones. Ty, ah, Tyus right. Jones. Shout out to him. But he's yeah. not – he's no job. You know, no disrespect. So right. I, I definitely think that uh, that injury is going to affect uh, Memphis a lot more. Um, I already didn't have him going to the playoffs, but – I mean, losing somebody like him for for what would you say, Mark? What was the what was the amount of time? Three to five weeks. Yeah, losing someone like him for three to five weeks, man, that could just kill your chances of trying to make any type of postseason run. So, yeah, league setting yeah. the mood in there. Right, right. And I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this: uh, Tyus Jones is somewhere like <laughs> none hey, taken. Look, it bro, seems bro. like we have that effect you know, on players. Taken, right? bro, bro. <laughs> Looks like we have that effect on players, right? We'll get into yeah. that later on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we yeah. want it to know Hezzy on the low, right? You're right. All right. <laughs> We're definitely going to get into that, y'all. So stick around. Uh, we want to pause for station identification. Thank all of our uh, viewers, <laughs> live viewers, and even those who are <laughs> viewing the replay. We thank you. We thank you. Uh, shout out to everybody. Shout out to the merch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and to all of our listeners, man. Do us a favor, subscribe, and also hit that bell notification. Absolutely. Moving right along, fellas, we're talking Roy, Rookie of the Year. And we want to get into some of the rookies who are killing it right now and kind of get you all's take on exactly who do you have for Rookie of the Year as of now and who do you project will get it uh, later. So just to throw some names out there, I mean, we know Lamelo is doing his thing. Uh, we talked about Halliburton doing his thing. So – Black, we're going to start with you. Who do you like, man, as far as uh, rookie year watch? Uh, man, I – Halliburton is just coming out of nowhere. I mean, we we, we all knew uh, that he had a, a, a dope skill set, and we've already spoke on how we feel like that was a great pick for the Kings. But, I mean, he's – he's you pretty much can't leave him open at this point. Mm -hmm. And as far as his playmaking and ball handling ability, I mean – he looks he looks as confident as anybody out there. So uh I've, I've I've definitely been paying a lot of attention to what he's doing out there and the way he's affecting the team. I mean, shoot, in that in that Houston game, the boy was out there in the clutch making plays. Yeah. You know, how many rookies are getting clutch minutes like that? So uh I really like the what I'm what I'm seeing from him. Uh and he also seems like a solid dude, man. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Lee, who, who, who is who do you like that so shot, far? That shot is terrible. But yeah, that, it looks that real low. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm I'm feeling Halliburton too, man. I I don't know if you guys remember, but I did have him as my still of the draft. Mm -hmm. I did have him at that because he felt the all, right. uh, all right, Lee. Hey, hey. <laughs> I got to solidify my narrative, dog. <laughs> yeah, we got to sleep as we go. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm definitely feeling uh feeling Halliburton. Uh, he he, you know he's he's been a light for the city, and uh, you know he's I think all the players, all the coaching staff, everybody's you know trusting him and liking what what he's got going on. So I'm rocking with him at all. I'm rocking with him all the way. 
I definitely, you know, don't think he is the rookie of the year at this point uh, to, you know, to kind of go off of that. If we're going off the Roy watch, he's, you know, Halliburton is definitely in the picture, but I'm definitely going to go with, uh, you know, LeVar's youngest ball. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I the smallest, but he's, he's, he's actually not, he's the biggest at this point. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, th- this is where I'm looking at Mark. What, what you, what you thinking? Man, you know, like I, I hit you guys in the group text uh, earlier this week, man. I'm very impressed with LaMelo, man. Like almost lightweight, kind of proud, man, to see. Because we've been watching this dude since ninth grade. I mean, this boy's in the league, y'all. He's in the league and he's pulling yeah. up. He's pulling up. He uh, actually manifested, right? Exactly. Hey. <laughs> and Mark, these, these aren't normal threes, just so we can look at that, right? Yeah. You know, that, that's not a normal three right there. Right. I mean, so- he... he yeah, he's pulling up from the from the the, the circle, man. I mean, he's it he's looked like, very it looked like what he was doing in high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he's very confident. You know, that's what I love. You know, that confidence. Um, uh, he's what I wish uh, uh, Lonzo you know, Lonzo was early on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, I bet yeah. you. Uh, I bet you, Laker fans everywhere wish that. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. What I, will say, what, I, what, I, what I will say, too, is we can't forget about uh, Wiseman. Yeah, and I agree. we can't I, forget about Anthony Edwards. Uh, both of them look very strong as well. Yeah, I we've agree. Seen, we've seen some great play from both of those guys as well. I agree. And I, I actually got uh, – uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get some Wiseman up, too, because he, he, has, he has been doing it at a high level. So, uh, Wiseman, especially- hey, Pause. Wiseman looks like a stallion out there. Man, <laughs> he does. Exactly. He does. So, so let me let me ask you guys this: Could this rival the nine six rookie class? I mean, or the two thousand four rookie class, or two thousand three rookie class with LeBron in there? Slow Is down, this- Mark. Slow it up. <laughs> Slow, it up. <laughs> Slow down. Uh, I don't know if I see any Bron level or uh, uh, Mamba level right. talent here yet. Okay. But time, time will tell. Time will tell. I mean, I'd even say, uh, the, I mean, the year of Tatum, uh, the year of Tatum. Yeah. Uh, um, who else was in that class? The Alonzo year, right? Alonzo year. That was a good year. I'd even say that was a good year. Yeah. But this is definitely yeah. a strong year. Right. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we can't see the. Uh, we, you know, it's gonna take a. It's gonna. It take us a couple years to get that. Like we could say that that 2017 class with. Lonzo, De'Aaron Fox, uh, Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, you know what I mean? Kyle Kuzma, you know, that one showed out to be pretty nice. But, uh, you know, this one, we'll see. I, I think LaMelo's got – I think he's got – I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to take it too far, but I do think he has all-time great written all over him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, as far hey, as uh, – time stamp this. Right. Right, right, right. <laughs> we can do, do that. I mean, this boy's yeah. grabbing the ball, taking it the length of the court. Right. Wiseman's nice, man. I'm impressed. Yeah, Wiseman, somebody that big pulling up from three. Yeah. Right, right. And then also grabbing a rebound and going coast to coast is very scary. Yeah. That's a very scary sight. If he can put it all together and 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 develop some go-to moves, that's yeah, that looks that looks very right. intimidating moving and, forward. And he, and he might be able to, you know. I, I think uh you know, so far I like what I'm seeing. He seems like he's got his head down and he's ready to work. He doesn't seem like somebody that's, you know, he seems like he's focused over there. And Golden State is is not going to let you play around. You know what I mean? As far as your progression goes, so I definitely think you know he's got something going on. He's going to be a really good player. Reminds me a lot of uh, of Carl Anthony Towns. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. I say with more, even more athleticism to be real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say so too. Absolutely, a little more fluid, right? More fluid. Yeah. Than the- yeah, and, and Anthony Edwards looks extremely comfortable. He does. Yeah, uh, yes, Skip, I am a Laker fan. All right. <laughs> I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're implying, but <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh, um, look at that. Woo! And then the bump. He took. Yeah. Uh, he, he took dude for the ride. Yeah, he did. He took dude and straight looked, for the ride. Seeing, seeing him Hold now. Up. Seeing him Hold now, up. he looked different than uh. He looked a lot different than Spider Mitchell. I ain't going to for the ride. Uh, uh, uh. Just take him for a ride, man. Hop on. 
he looked a little more physically imposing than Spider Mitchell. Hold on, hey, hey, you know, and, and I don't mean to keep rewinding it back, but look at this stupid shot by Jordan Clarkson, man. <laughs> dumb shot, man. Like, what is he? Look at what is that. <laughs> look, hey, what is he's he wearing doing? a lot of tech. Dude, uh, look at that. Look at that. Over uh, the backboard. <laughs> look at that. He's oh, wearing man. double zero now. He's doing Jordan that. Clarkson's in. He's Jordan Clarkson's in a different headspace. Yeah, he, right? he is. Uh, he's look a at that. Turn around. He's a caricature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is doing a lot of things that you know you see guys learn year three, year four already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he's he's definitely programmed to kill, right? <laughs> and, and his release, his his his. I mean, he, he look. He takes a lot of ill-advised shots. Right. Yeah, his absolutely. Release looks very good. He's uh he's programmed to demoralize you, right? <laughs> That, that that's in his hoop, his hoop structure, his hoop DNA is yeah aggressively yeah. demoralize you every chance he gets, right? Yeah, yeah. So, he, so imagine him the skill set catching up to the mentality, right? Yeah, he, that that's that's because he's already got incredible size. Look at this. Look, he doesn't look he doesn't look like a rookie. Nah, he doesn't look like a rookie. Look at him. Look, he look, looks like Eddie Winslow. Right. <laughs> Hey, he does. <laughs> oh, look at that! That dirt yeah. step back. Yeah. See, yeah, he's got a bag that he has yet to fully realize. You know right. what I mean? Right, right. Look at this. So, yeah, um, you talk three seasons yeah. in with him. You know, you, they got something for sure over there. Look at yeah. that. I like how he gets the butt out. On Mike Conley hey, too. On Mike Conley, right? But Carl Anthony Towns deferring to him. Look at that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. And rightfully so, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. So we definitely have a, a lot to look forward to uh, from this rookie class. It's a great yeah. rookie class, man. It's for sure. Great. Oh, and shout out to uh 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 who else, who are we forgetting, man? There's a couple cats we're forgetting that are that are also playing up as well. I don't want to forget I, I don't I want mean, to forget I, anyone, but man, shout out to all the rookies playing up right now. We'll see yeah, man. Up. I mean <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's some out there somewhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Isaac Okoru, looking like yeah. a defender out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like Isaac. I like. Hey, what's up with the chat, man? It seemed like y'all seemed like y'all paused for a sec. Y'all took a pause, like Berber said. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what, what? Hoop. hey, everybody in the chat right now only been watching Kings basketball. They ain't been watching hoop. Right, right. What well, I want to know is uh, where's Ramon at? That's what I want to know. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Hey, Somebody crickets, yeah. From, crickets from Ramon. Right. Yeah. Somebody yeah, I ain't gonna let you back me down either. All right. <laughs> Not on my platform. <laughs> somebody get this man in here. Well, somebody, well, find, fellas, somebody text Ramon, man. Get <laughs> well, fellas, if we got King's family in the building, they're gonna love this next segment because we're talking about uh, the Marvin Bagley gate if you will <laughs> let's get right into this man uh, hey, this to... is juicy i ain't gonna yeah, front absolutely so we're gonna uh read this uh piece of this uh article from sb nation that's chronicling the drama between marvin bagley and marvin bagley's dad and, and the kings so let's go right into this we'll start at the top so when form uh, you know what Lee, i'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna start at uh uh, this is this is what he tweeted. So okay, okay. Mar- Marvin yeah. Bagley's father tweeted this. Please trade Marvin Bagley the third ASAP. Love Coach Bagley. Uh, his son's coach, Luke Walton, had this to say. My message is always the same. I mean, he's dealt with this before, right, fellas? My message is always the same. <laughs> we don't listen to any of that. It's us within these walls, us within the lock, us within this locker room. Uh, we're in this together, good or bad, whatever people are saying, we've got to do everything we can to not let that affect what we're trying to get done here. Uh, we can understand why Bagley Sr. We did that out. He wants the best for his son, obviously. Fellas, I want to get your thoughts on this. And, and, uh, feel free to previous to the uh, your sources on this one, Black. You did. I know you got some deep dives, some more info. So we'll start with you. What, what are your thoughts on this whole thing, man? Well, first and foremost, Bagley's pops tweet. Uh, that was a tweet during the game. Mm. 
Um, and he's done this a couple times this season so far. Uh, I believe – I can't remember – the, the team they were playing, but Bagley had like 18 points in the first three quarters uh, and they ended up sitting him and his pops was upset about that as well. Um, on top of that, last tweet, uh, De'Aaron Fox's father also had a response to that. He said, Ooh. trade him. <laughs> so that being said, uh, everything Luke Walton said was definitely on point. Uh, I mean, that's what he has to say. Right. But this has to uh, this has to be affecting the locker room. Yeah. It's, it's got to be. Right. I mean, Absolutely. yeah. One of your one of your teammates pops is popping off. Lavar, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That has to be a, that has to be a topic of conversation. I don't know, what, Lee. What do you think, man? I, I, no, man. It's a problem. It's a big problem. I mean, I let, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up right here, just so we can see this. Yeah, this is this is it right here. Look, I mean, look, what Aaron Fox, all right? Right? Mm. Fox all right? Trade him. Trade him. That's what he said. <laughs> trade him. He's like, he's like, yeah, trade him. Get something back that my son can actually work with. That's what he's thinking, right? Man. So look, man hey, I mean, look you know, where LeVar started. <laughs> Got these pops man. out here popping off on social media, man. Let your sons play basketball. Man. First and foremost. Let's get that out of the way right now. Yeah. Let your sons do what they've been contracted to do. It's hard enough. You got talking heads like like no hezzy <laughs> roasting your, roasting the play of your sons on a regular basis. Here's an interesting thing I want to bring to you guys to you fellas. Go stand there. So we know that like Bagley's father's age, they're like maybe 10 years our senior so they're not old enough to be our fathers right do you right. feel like that father age now we're happy that they were there they were in their kids life obviously taking them to the aau and, and really being that parent that's there we love to see that but do you right. feel like they're, they're a little too hands-on when it comes to dealing with their players in the league i mean we, these are grown men we're talking about do, do their fathers need to still be having their hands in it what's your thoughts on that uh, I think that's a great question, man. There's a thin line for sure. All mm -hmm. right, there's a thin line. Um, I do. I am under the understanding that a hey, a lot of these guys train their sons, been there every weekend, taking them to AAU games. You know, what I'm saying, putting in extra work with their kids away from the coaching staff. So I love it, and they feel invested with their child. With their <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's almost like their own personal Pokemon, even right. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I'm raising him up to this point so he can go to war with them. You know what I mean? So uh, I love it. I happen to love it. Now, like I said, there is a thin line. And yeah. Mr. Bagley, the second, is out of pocket. All right? Like, why, why would you think you can tell the Sacramento Kings to trade your son? You know, not, not only was LeVar Ball ridiculous talking about front office moves as well, but look, 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 look. Marvin Bagley played 13 games last season. Right, oh he played 13 games. So, and now, now he's actually playing, and he's averaging 11 and eight, which are the lowest numbers. Wow. And, and so, like, Mr. Bagley doesn't have a leg to stand on right now. Mm -hmm. His son needs to get in a healthy season before you could even you, you could even start mouthing off like that. That's my opinion, though. Yeah. I, I was gonna I was gonna echo the same sentiments as uh, as Ramon uh, enters the chat. Shout out to Ramon. Uh, I was gonna echo the same sentiments. Um, uh, as far as one, I love to see, uh, fathers, uh, involved in their, their, uh, their hoop sons careers, uh, you know, for, for a long time, uh, we, you almost wonder, you know, where the fathers involved you never mm -hmm. really hear about a lot of these stars pops. So it's dope to see that. Uh, the, the male factors actually care about what's going on in their son's careers. But I think the moment you start affecting the locker room and you start talking about things that could affect your son's relationship with players and coaches, I think you're out of line. Mm -hmm. And I also would say to Marvin Bagley's pops, what is your son's trade value? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even played. 
your son's got no trade value right now. Right. Marvin Bagley the right. second. Right. So for you to be saying stuff like this, you're 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 really lowering you're lowering his value. Yes. Because the, no team is going to trade for him to not. We don't even know if he can last a full season. Mm-hmm. Number one and number two to have you popping off in the comments. All right. And I'd even say this: if you really want to speak your piece, come on and no hesitate. All right. <laughs> right. Hey, Mr. Bagley, that's, that's an open invitation to you, sir. Mr. Bagley the second. Oh, let me man, hold up, hold up. Mr. Bagley the second. Give a off the screen. Shout out to you, brother. We appreciate what you know as your son. But the next step is keeping him healthy, right? <laughs> working on them joints, right? Getting in between them ligaments, right? Right. Right. <laughs> If you want to come on No Hezzy and talk, you talk about Luke Walton, Poopy Lukey, we'll definitely welcome you to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. That was that, that was a good a good uh, segment there, fellas. Appreciate your insight on that. Now, let's get into some more uh, controversy around the league. We're going to be talking Jalen Brown v. Jason Tatum. Now, there's been some discussions of late uh, over who's the the – who, who should have the throne there in Boston? You know, who's who's the real piece that should be built around? So I want to get you all's opinion on this. Leek, we're going to start with you. But first, before we go into that, let's see what Big Perk had to say. Uh, resident talking head on first take. Let's see what he had to say on this topic. Yo, hey, shout Perk, out the to biggest Perk. talking head. Uh... <laughs> shout out to Big Perk, all right? Well, it should Perk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With all due respect to Jason Tatum, I'm a huge fan of Jason Tatum. I think he's a rising star in this league. But so is Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is the best player on the Boston Celtics, best all-around player. And now the only edge that Jason Tatum had over Jalen Brown was his ability to get buckets. Jalen Brown has took that next step. It's nothing Jalen Brown can't do offensively that no one else can do in the league. He has zero flaws in his offensive game. He has a mid-range package. He can slash to the basket. He can drive to the basket with the, to the, with his right or left hand, finish strong at the rim. His three-point percentage is up. And here's why I knew. Here's what I knew when I knew that Jalen Brown took the leap. That he is a elite player in this league. It's not this sample size that we're seeing right now. It's what he did last year in the bubble, in the postseason. He was the most consistent player on the Celtic Celtic team last year. When Gordon Haywood went out, it was his time to step up. Just think about what he did before the pandemic, averaging 20 points a night and not getting a single play call for him. He was the fourth option, shooting 50% from the field. So coming into this season, it's a reason why in the preseason I picked Jalen Brown to win most improved player because I said, one, finally, Gordon Haywood is gone and out of and, 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 and is finally out of his way. Two, Kimber is hurt. We're going to watch Jalen Brown emerge into the superstar that he is. And in my opinion, not only is he excellent on the offensive end, but on the defensive end, he's one of one. To switch one through five pick and rolls, and there's one of the best elite defenders at the wing position that we have in this league. Guess who's tied to the Celtic? <laughs> 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 You're true. So when you think of this, don't these rumors that we've been hearing about, oh, it's possible that the Celtics are now looking to trade for James Harden? Guess who name comes about? Jalen Brown. Guess why the trade haven't happened? Because they value Jalen Brown that much. By the way, James Harden is an MVP candidate. Why wouldn't they pull the trigger so fast? Because they know that this guy is on the verge of shocking the world like people like yourself and showing you that he is on that elite level of Jason Tatum. Yo, All shout right. out to Perk, man. Hey, right. that was the ovation right there. Yeah, right? Yeah, he went off. <laughs> Hey, I see Perk been watching no Hezzy, man. You know, yeah. to, to bloviate like that, you know what I mean? You can tell you all the situation. All right. <laughs> oh. all right. So, you, man. So, yeah, so I'm going to definitely pull up the side by side. 
just so we could have like some perspective on uh you know on what perk was saying uh so let's let's uh yeah i mean let's look at the playoff numbers so to speak because that's when we've seen them both in the playoffs a lot as young players um so and that's pretty much where they both got their rise of fame so tatum's you know uh getting more points than him more rebounds than him more assists than him more steals more blocks uh the but uh, as perk as perk is saying that now we are going to see mm -hmm. uh, uh Jalen uh, Brown star arise as he as he comes into his own Malik <laughs> okay so oh so so he's basically saying let, let's not look at the past yeah <laughs> Let's just let's just focus on let, let go off the eye test, all right. <laughs> That's what he's saying. No, but for real, these two are are pretty close. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh, yeah. I would I would say in in the conversation is one to be had if you watch Boston play, just because we know how effective Jalen Brown you know can be and has been. He just went off for forty two, I think, uh, the last week, which 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 caused this eruption from Perkins. So I think Jalen Brown's playing great. And they are they are kind of they are rather close. Uh, Jason Tatum, he loses points with me from trying to be too cute, right? That's mm -hmm. how he loses points with me. I like Jalen Brown's mentality. Jalen Brown also is a better defender, uh, without question, than Jason Tatum. Uh, Jalen Brown is averaging four more points per game. I think he's the leading scorer for the Celtics this year so far. Obviously, mm -hmm. we're what game six, right. seven, so that's subject to change. But it uh, definitely seems like he's a little bit more efficient, although J Jason Tatum has a better free throw percentage. I have a question for you guys, because this is this, you know, this conversation has it's, it's turning a few uh, uh, narrative gears in my head. All right. Do you guys think that. The comparisons aside, do you think that these two gentlemen can coexist? In a winning situation, or does one got to go? Mark, I'll I'll let you touch on that first, Mark. Yeah, I, that's a great question. I was actually going to pose a similar question to you, fellas, but I think I challenge Boston to make it work. Why do we have to break this up? Why do we have to debate who's you know who's more? You know, I think that's a large problem with with the with the young guys is that everybody wants their well, not even young guys. It's, it's gone since Penny and Shaq, right? But we always want to be the man when I think both players playing together is the best for you know, the, 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 the team. I think, I definitely think they can coexist and I think they should really challenge themselves to do that uh, because yeah, they play the same similar position. They're similar type players, but I think it's best for those two to stay together and it's best for Boston as a whole for them to, to, to coexist. Hey, I agree, Mark. I, I I look at it the same way. I challenge them to keep it together. I challenge them to to keep those two at the wings because it's hard to get two quality wings in this league, two all-star caliber wings in this league. Usually you got to twist, work, and bend and make trades and give up something to get that. If uh, let, Let's say if, if, uh, if Jason Tatum – and Jalen Brown were on two different teams drafted, right? And 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 at this point, and Jalen Brown's fourth year, he was traded to the uh, to the Boston Celtics. We would all be like, "Hey, man, that's a pairing right there." <laughs> hey, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Hey, that's they about to work. And we'd we'd be like, "Those are two young players who have proven themselves in this league that are getting better and better every year, and don't back down from no smoke." That's what we say. So I do think it's a great tandem to have on the wings. I like the way that uh, they they brought in Kimball Walker, even though he hasn't necessarily lived up to his billing yet. I think he's some injuries probably, but I like those two wings and Brad Stevens and then the interchangeable point guard and bigs. You know what I mean? I like that. Yep. But Black, I think that, that, you can blow it on that. I think, I think that they can coexist. I think that they should coexist. But the reason why I asked that is because it seemed like last year in the playoffs, there are moments where, you know, when they when they basically collapsed uh, in the in the Eastern Conference Finals, there was moments where it seemed like 
uh, Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown got into it, and I believe it was because Jalen Brown felt like he wasn't getting enough burn in those mm-hmm. big moments. So that being said, is there a chance where there could be some type of ego issue? Uh, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll ask you guys another question. Who is better? Who do you guys think is better? Man, uh, I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Lee. I'm going to say one. if they were to play one-on-one, is that kind of the convo or what? I, I Yeah, I guess so. If they're playing no, 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 no. If you had to pick, you had to pick one. To keep and one to move, keep Tatum. Come on, Come on. yeah, I keep Tatum. Lee, <laughs> and yes, we will come back to this. <laughs> you know what, man? I'm taking Jalen Brown. Oh, okay, Jalen Brown, yeah. I don't think anybody will be mad at any, either of you guys for this, honestly. Yeah. I'll probably go with Tatum. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this, is, this is definitely something we're going to keep our eyes on. Uh, as shout out to Perk. Yeah, shout out to Big Perk, man. Uh, shout out to him. So, fellas, we're going to move right along here. Uh, I'm glad oh, Ramon. <laughs> Ramon has not shut up since entering the chat. Hey, hey, Black. Hey, check check your Twitter DM, Black. I'll I'll put something in there for you, man. Can I, you? I, I saw that. I can't do that without uh, exiting. Uh, okay. I'll, yeah. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> okay. So, hey, remote. Hey, remote. Just let us know if you want to come on the show. If you if you want us to bring you in, man, because we we saw we saw the uh, the narratives that you were pushing up up top with the Steph and Dame stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, I know I know Steph just exploded all over Dame. So, you know, if you want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to come in and bloviate about that? We we definitely can have that. Um, yeah. Oh, I expected an invite today. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds great. Yeah. Uh, just give me a second. Hey, hey, Skip, if you're tuning in, Skip, I'm gonna send you to. Uh, actually, Ramon, go ahead and add me on Twitter so I can just send you the invite. Add me on Twitter real quick so I can follow me real quick so I can send that to you. Hey, uh, would you guys mind bloviating? Uh, without me for a couple of seconds, man. I I uh, I make the calls. Yeah, no, yeah. I want to be. I want to be here, ready. Uh, right, for Ramon, without <laughs> feeling uncomfortable. All right, <laughs> All right. absolutely. And Mark, I'm so, gonna go ahead and put the. Uh, you want me to put the highlights up? Yeah, from, let's, uh, yeah I was gonna say we can run the highlights and uh, see exactly what Steph had to say. So let's get into it. Uh, let's get into it. All right, let's see. He came out aggressive early. Lee, what would you think about him? His play? Yeah, he had twenty-one in the first quarter, man. I look at his movements, man. Oh, oh, Ooh. yeah, yeah, man. That's I haven't seen Steph move this aggressively in a while. But yeah, twenty-one in the first quarter, man. That's that's a great great way to start off, and you know he has something on his mind, you know. Yeah, yeah, and and what I like, Lee, is, and we could get into this. I see Dame guarding. Steph and taking the challenge. So shout out to Dan. Right. What did you right. think of uh, Steph? Of course they're gonna hide Steph. How did you guys? Did that take away at all? And you got and you guys opinion to this performance? Uh, I mean, at this point, at this point, sorry, Lee. Oh, at right. this point, that's what we expect, right? Yeah. At this point, that's what we expect. That's what they're gonna do with Steph. They're gonna hide him on defense. Right. Yeah. That's not. A I did notice point. that. That stood out to me though. And, and they're going to hide him so that way he can do this, right? Yeah, right. In, in hopes of this, right? Yeah, fair enough. And now one thing I will say to Ramon is you were awful quiet two days ago. You mm. didn't say you didn't say a damn word, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so I will say that. <laughs> yeah, they played twice this week, so this is game two. It uh, did. Yeah, and Steph got outplayed in game one. Yeah, he did. That's that's when we broached the subject, actually. Right. <laughs> right. And Steph heard the hate, clearly. Hey, I want to there's something I want to address to our watching these highlights is uh these NBA players who watch no Hezzy who aren't giving us credit. Yeah. Right. He heard there's the been, noise. There's been several moments where these guys have exploded since uh, our takes on no right. Hezzy. Right. 
and and they're not giving us any type of credence, right. and I, I don't appreciate that. I don't like it either. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like it at all. Yeah. And uh, and and I, I got the stat line from that first game. Um, from the first game that happened, and uh, you know, Steph Steph had twenty six that game, right? And yeah. uh, and Dame had 30, 34. So, you know, we see uh, the tables turned a little bit. I, I will say, about, hey, look, Steph was definitely in his bag. I'll say he's that. in his bag. All right. I will say this about Steph, guys. When he gets going, he kind of get that, you know what I mean? He got his shimmy going. He got the swag going. Right. I don't see a lot of that when he's struggling, though. But that's right. that. You know what I mean? Right. right. And <laughs> also, I'll good. say this, man. Hey, hey, my stance hasn't changed. You know, we all know that Steph Curry is one of the best shooters, if not the best shooter of all time. Come on, don't do hey that that's disrespectful to even preface. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, hey, 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 look I don't want to disrespect Jesus Shuttlesworth, you know what I'm saying, or anybody of that ilk. Hey. But uh hey Leak, I'm blow VA right now, and I won't allow you to cut me off. Can Steph can Steph is this sustainable? Is this sustainable for Steph? Because that's always been my point. He's going to have to literally do this for 72 games. The team is terrible. Yeah. All right. So, so, uh, so look, we, we've, uh, we bloviated a little bit on that. Right. And, uh, and, and it's, and it's interesting. Cause like I said, you know, it was, it was a lot of quietness, uh, after that first game, but you know what, we're going to bring in Ramon to let him bloviate because I know he's got a lot to say, particular to me and Blackmo. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, we'll go ahead and bring on Ramon. Hey, What's up, boys? how's it going? It's nice to be here. Thank you for the invite. I was, hey. I was surprised. You know what I mean? I was surprised that I wasn't on sooner. You guys, <laughs> I, you, could, you had your time. You had your time to shit on Steph, the Warriors. You had four games. That's all we gave you. And now we're here. <laughs> I told you it would take time. Look at Skip. He said he'd been waiting for this. I've been waiting too, Skip. Ramon, Ramon, <clears throat> first and foremost, man. Hey, shout out to you. Uh, you've been you've been very consistent uh with your takes. I told you. Uh you're extremely not just bloviation. This is a keen eye for the game. It's not just bloviation. Hey, hey look, hey. You're, hey, you're extremely entertaining, but what I will ask you is. First, I'm jump right in it. Can Steph Curry maintain this level of activity and usage for like three quarters? And he'll do it when he has to do it. That then he'll sit the fourth because he doesn't need to when they get this hot. But I, I, I'll say this: he shouldn't have to, right? You guys are you guys are right on the critique that the system isn't built for this these kind of players, which is garbage. He's surrounded by trash right now for the most part. <laughs> That's Wiggins. That's Kelly Oubre. They're not playing good, but he's elevating them. You guys saw how they played last night, right? They played really great on deep. Did you watch the game? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Played really great on defense, and they hit one three each. I, if I can get them to two, that's a functioning offense. <laughs> <laughs> I just need two. I'll say this, Ramon, uh, uh, and thank you for hopping on the show, by the way. Uh, oh, good. Now, I love the show. Thank you. Uh, now, as far as 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 far as the the team goes do you think that they might have had some uh some motivation being that they took an l two nights ago and steph only had 26 i think he was like 4 12 from three or something like that pretty pretty horrible abysmal abysmal numbers what, what do you think about that <laughs> did you watch that game or did you just watch this game i watched that game too yep yep that game steph was incredibly passive because he played the whole game trying to get his team going Mm -hmm. And it drives it drives all Warrior fans nuts that he doesn't have like James Harden usage. But he's not James Harden. He's a point guard, right? He's supposed to spread the ball around. So if Absolutely. he's passing to a bunch of guys who are just throwing up bricks, and then everybody's saying his legacy's in question, he's like, all right, then give me the fucking ball. All well, right, then my, let's see what happens. That's my knock, though, Ramon, on Steph, is that it seems as though out of all the stars that we speak on, he seems to be the most passive in these moments. And now we're able to see a larger size version of this because he doesn't have anybody else on the team to hide behind anymore. But don't you think that it's a criticism? It would be a criticism of him if he tried to have this kind of usage when he has like KD on the team, though, or if he Absolutely. has Clay and Clay. 
if Clay and KD are not getting their their shit off, then what's the point of having them? I agree, but I don't think Steph is going to do this too many times this year. That's my point. Is we got oh he's not going to break records. You, he's not going to break records too many times this season. <laughs> what more do you want? Do you know the last player? Do you know the last player to to get sixty plus points in the game? Uh, Clay Devin Thompson. Thompson. Devin Sorry, Booker, at this I age, the, the last person at this like age, mm. Kobe oh, Bryant. Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Say it had to be he had mama. 31. He had 31 and 31, just like Kobe. The, this guy, this guy is doing it at an extended age. We've never seen players at this age playing this well. Now, You're saying on. his body can't hold up. This now, man is on, doing mom. things that LeBron couldn't do. Now, I want to see mom. LeBron get 60 points at this age. That's crazy. Oh. Ramon, hey, hold on now. This is our platform, all right? So, so, all right, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna have you bloviate too much. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? Keep talking because last time, this, 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 last time you guys said all this, last time you guys said all this, he shot 62. So, I want you to keep going. I hope this man, this man, Steph Curry in the same conversation as the Mamba. He put him there. The Mamba put him there. I didn't put him there. Real quick, real Look quick. I just what Kobe said something. about this guy. I wanted to show y'all something just, just so we don't get ahead of ourselves, right? <laughs> uh, this, this would be Damian Lillard's career high, right? 60 wins. I hey, I don't think he's getting well, – that's one less than what Steph got. But I don't think <laughs> he's going to have too many games like this because if you have you been watching the Blazers play? This man is passive now. This man is taking a backseat to C.J. McCollum. That dude's a podcaster. I can't believe this shit. Right. This man's Look. trying to get stamps.com, you know, sponsorships. He's trying to do all these, fucking, you know, uh, Casper mattress yeah, ads. All right, all right, all right. He's now the number black, one guy right. on the team now. Now I'm with black. The oviation's got to stop, Ramon. All right. I'm with black now. All right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, you know, the going crazy. Okay. All right. All right. So look. So Ramon. All right. So so I do agree. Dame is deferring to CJ. Right. I do agree. But it's also a seven. It's a seventy-game season. It's a long season, and Dame had to literally, he had to literally give up his big toe to get them in the AC last year. So he's definitely going to push himself a little more uh, this year. And CJ, hey, CJ needs to be carrying okay. some weight over there, right? Yeah. How could you say this after you were saying that Steph was a worse point guard after three games? Hey, Ramon, Ramon, answer me this question. Ramon, answer me this question. What is what are their records right now? Because last time I checked, it was the same record. Can I ask you a question? What it is was the same? What is record what is the seven eleven record right now? Say that again? The, so can I ask you a question? What's the seven eleven record right now? I was watching this show last week, and I saw three guys talking about seven <laughs> eleven, about the Brooklyn Nets, about how great they were going to be with that worm Kevin Durant. Spy, I don't even call him a snake because. Snakes have spines, okay? I call this man a worm. He went he went crawling back underground where he belongs. He's not ready for the big lights, for the big show. What are the, what is their record? Listen, I'm going to bro, they just had, they just had a uh, one of their major players just had a season ending injury. Mm -hmm. You said last week they didn't even need Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, I said I, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. Look, you I said they need to find was, a play. You said they need to find a place for him. I found a place for him in the ER. He could join half the Warriors. <laughs> I was there. questioning whether he needed to be in the starting lineup, Ramon. All right. <laughs> all right. All right look, look, all of these teams have won three games. The Brooklyn Nets, they've lost four. Uh, the Portland Trailblazers, have won three. And so have the Golden State Warriors. Now, my question to you, Ramon, is which team is going to have the worst record out of those three? Go. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Is is uh, Kyrie going to get the sage from Costco? Is he buying in bulk? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, yeah. I've got no quorum. Is, he, is, one, he, one, buying, right. is he buying sage in bulk? I don't know what his record is going to be. <laughs> I can't predict the future. All right. All right. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> now, 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 on a serious note, Ramon, what did you think about Steph's movements? Because it has been a while since he's exploded like that. It's, it's almost been been about two years, I would say, right? So what what yeah, do you I mean, think about how he looked as far as physically? He, I mean, he didn't play for the he didn't play more than like what five six games last year. Yeah, he like he, he broke his hand. Left. He was out for most of the season, anxious to come back, and then coronavirus hit. No, don't do that. 
Maybe that is man broken metacarpal. That's this one. That's the big one. Look, he knew the <laughs> team. He knew the team was trash. He knew the team was trash. And then, oh, skip him! Skip him! What's up? You see the one? Shout out! It's it's pretty. It's, it's Prince Curtis. It's Prince Curtis. That's that's. I don't call him the king. I call him the prince. You see what Ramon's done? You see what Ramon's done? He's literally, he's literally made the no has the audience go hammer right now, right? <laughs> That's hey, look, hey, there's no he community the like the no hezzy community. I he will a, say that. He got a crown, but he ain't a king. He's a prince. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> um, but but no, no, no. To answer your question, um, he he hasn't he hasn't played like this with this explosiveness probably since Toronto the the last games of those series when he got like right, fifty right, or whatever. Okay. And, and I'll fifty say this. playing a box in one defense. And I'll, and I'll say this too. Uh, Crazy. To and like and you team doubted team. him. He hasn't looked like this since Toronto, but Toronto had been clamps on him. Mm -hmm. All right. So, 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 so yeah, he was moving well, but he wasn't grooving well. That's for sure. I mean, he's been, he's in, he's been in boxing one hell all this season for a lot of last season because everybody knows what his situation is. He doesn't and, and have, now and now he's in purgatory with his team and their record, right? They're, yeah, they're all in purgatory right now. Yeah. You know what? Let's, let's, let's talk about what that I'm, real quick, Ramon. What the hell? Is going on with Kelly Oubre and Andrew Wiggins, man. <laughs> hey, this dude, who, the who are you about? <laughs> Don't say those guys' names around me. The guys are garbage. <laughs> now, I want to talk about Juan Toscano Anderson. He was disrespected last week. They called him Juan Toscano Alexander. That man's got Aztec <laughs> warrior blood flowing through his veins. That's a G League player playing – Frame on minutes. Absolutely. This man is going ballistic. That's that's because he believes joy in buckets, strength in numbers. Right, right. <laughs> but I don't know what other guys. Hey, we don't talk about Draymond Green on this podcast. Right. right. <laughs> Did you see his defense, the clinic he put on last night? That's about he, all he, he's got to offer at this point. Hey, he had the I, best one-point game I've ever seen. This man was <laughs> everywhere. I'm I'm serious. Him right, and Steph Charles combined Barkley for six. Him a triple single. <laughs> him and, <laughs> hey, if if it means if it means winning games, I don't think anybody cares. That's the thing about this show. You guys all look at numbers. Who gets the most points? I'm glad Steph. I'm glad <laughs> Steph showed you guys wrong. You know but, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let in you general. Let you I'm gonna let you go. Hey, go hey, there's hey, one hey, number that I care off. about. Hey, hey, I'm ready to cut Ramon off. Hey. hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> There's hey. one number that I care about, rings, and they got them. They got them, boys. Hey, but look, hey, my team's doing all right so far. This asterisk year. Ain't no question about that. I didn't say uh, asterisks. I meant real rings, not not Mickey Mouse <laughs> titles. When all right, so out of the seventeen, we got one asterisk. How many to uh, total championships do the Golden State Warriors have? We and got the greatest close? dynasty of all time. The greatest. That's why you hate them so much because they gave you nightmares. They're Freddy. They had Freddy Krueger on the roster. They were haunting your dreams. They had, they had Sandman, not Sandman, uh, Candyman on the roster. They had you guys scared. No, you yeah. had to write Sandman. They had Sandman <laughs> too. You guys don't know about that one because the fans were sleep before these last few uh, these last few titles you got here. Look at the attendance number records. That's the Roracle was there. We believe was there. Don't do that. Hey, I want to show. I just want to show the Nohezi audience something real quick. So we, because since we brought up Draymond, let's go ahead and put him on the Nohezi screen, right? Let's see what's up. Are you gonna show the air ball? Let's see. It. Look at this pass. <laughs> <laughs> right where you need to be. Hey, hey, right on Green. Call hey, like, look at Steph smirking at him, though, right? Like, get this right. guy. Draymond right. hey, Green, Green shoots like the OG uh, that walks up to the basketball court, like, like, hey, <laughs> right. throw me the ball real quick. He shoots like he's got a backpack <laughs> on his back. I he think, like I, I think uh, he's making Kelly Oubre look like a sniper, though. So I respect it. He's trying to build his confidence up. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Kelly Oubre is like two for 30. Yeah. And, <laughs> Now, remote. Oh, yeah, Kelly Oubre is playing horrible, right? Uh, now, remote. Uh, on to a warrior that is showing a little bit of promise. Uh, tell us what you think about uh, Mr. Wiseman. Wiseman, yeah. my guy, bro. What if? Imagine this. Close your eyes. Imagine if Giannis could shoot the ball. <laughs> now open your eyes again. 
Now open your eyes again. What do you see? I, I, see, I, James, I, I, I see James that. Weissman. I see King James himself. <laughs> I see the rookie of the year. I see the guy who's not going to take years like Giannis took to develop because he ain't playing in the in the weak Milwaukee system. He's playing with greatness. So, man, I'm seeing great things from him. What are you guys seeing? I, I think he's great. He rem- honestly, he reminds me of Anthony Davis. Mm. He reminds me no, of Anthony he, Davis. He, I, I hope he doesn't have that level of, like, you know, health. I hope he plays a little bit better than that. I hope he's not fragile like that. I saw, hey, I saw hey, you're Anthony talking about champion. You're talking about champion. Asterisk. Throw the asterisk here. on Be it. Careful. Be careful. Throw the asterisk on it. <laughs> they, they, they beat a fifth seed in the bubble. <laughs> hey, the bubble, hey, the bubble exposed a lot of teams. Mm-hmm. Hey, we wanted to play, uh, we wanted to play the Clippers. Yeah. We wanted to play Boston. None of those guys wow. played up. We also, wow. wanted to play hey, the I can't say anything about that. <laughs> I, the Warriors. The Warriors. I bet we you did. To, I bet well, you did want to. I we wanted you to work for the Warriors. They, 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 didn't, they didn't make the trip, right? <laughs> they I bet you the did want to. I bet they, you did want to play. They weren't in the bubble, right, Ramon? Right. I bet you did want to play Glenn Robinson the third last season. <laughs> Who did it? Hey, <laughs> what, 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 uh, on a lighter note, on a lighter note, Ramon, because I, I'd be remiss if I didn't allow you to blow VA on your artwork, man. You're an amazing artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, thank you uh, so much. Do you, do you have any any plugs that you want to throw in uh, to the No Hezzy community? Just so Bad you know, idea. Get on my wall. That's Ooh. a fact. All right. Ooh. Look at those! Look at those ninety! Look at those Air Max nineties. Um, yeah, I got um, a new comic coming out next e- this year. I'm so used to the last year uh, through Bad Idea Comics. Can't talk much about it. We haven't announced it or the release date, but that uh, it's a cool company because they're basically trying to do it more like you know limited drops so that uh, it's not just like a general release. They're, they looked at like how like you know sneakers that come out and like you know. Uh, stuff that people value higher than like you know regular shit mm-hmm. like you know they, they looked at all that and they're, they they want to make comics with that so they they got me they're like you know we we want you because you're going to bring high quality to whatever we do Absolutely. um but yeah bad idea comics is the name of that um on a you know drop in the bloviating <laughs> <laughs> where can we, uh, you where can we follow you Ramon? 62 <laughs> where can we where can we follow you, Ramon, before you get back into your uh step fanboy tirade? <laughs> at Ramon Villalobos. I you see me in the comments on here on No Hezzy. I have to let him know. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey. now one thing, one one last thing I will say on the subject is we have to wait until the end of the year. All right, and see mm. where these guys land. But I I I I knew once I saw the update that Steph had 62 points and they got the dough oh, no. that you were coming on this show <laughs> and you were coming ready to take everybody's head off. So thank you for that. I hope I did. You know what they say, <laughs> you, could, you could kill all the flowers, but you can't stop the coming of the spring. <laughs> all right. It's going to come no matter hey, what. Hey, 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 do I need to mute this guy's mic? <laughs> hey, hey, no, Ramon, hey, we, we, I, I did put your uh, your Twitter bio, um, your Twitter handle in the comments. So anybody who's watching or, or uh, in the comments, you guys can definitely check out Ramon. It's at Ramon uh, Villalobos. Is that correct? Uh, at Twitter? That's right. Yeah. Villalobos, yeah. Perfect. Hey, uh, Villalobos, my apologies. I, I, I got to get know, my, my, uh, my rolls down. But uh, we appreciate you coming on, man, and uh, I like the I like the user handle that you have too, Steph. Better, uh, <laughs> you know, that? very fitting for the way you came on here, Ramon. I ain't gonna front. All right, yeah, uh, but appreciate you for coming on, Ramon, and we'll see you on the in the comments on the next run. All right, for sure. Later, dudes. Hey, Ramon, um, Ramon, Ramon, Ramon. Hey, look, Ramon, hey, we're not good. backing down from any <laughs> any smoke on no heads. Hey, look, now you want to? Hey, listen, hey, Black, save it. All right. <laughs> Ramon came out with two guns, okay? I don't want to hear anything, all right? Uh, <laughs> wait till the next time we have to revisit the conversation, and, and, and then we might have to we might have to bring look, Rubber said give Ramon the max, all right. <laughs> all right, we gotta give him a brawn track, right? Two years and a player uh, option after the first one. <laughs> with no trade clause in there, too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yo, man, that was a great segment, fellas. Uh, Ramon, thank you again for jumping on, man, and, and bloviating. 
So now, guys, I need rapid fire takes on this one, guys. We're going for picks for week three. So get your get 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 yeah get your pen and pad ready. I'm and ready. The comments, guys, drop in the comments who you think is going to be the winner of some of these games. We're going to announce. We're going to uh, go through some highlighted games next week, and we're going to hold uh, the fellas accountable. So we're starting with the fourth, uh, which will be today's the fourth. Tomorrow. Yep. Today is okay. the fourth. Yes, so today we have Charlotte versus Philly. We're going to start with you, Leek. Who you got? I got Charlotte. They lost the first one, so I think they're going to get them this time. I got Philly. All right. And next game we have is the Sacramento Kings versus Ramon's Golden State Warriors. Uh, <laughs> Ramona, Ramona, like this. <laughs> I've got Golden State Warriors winning this game. <laughs> hey, and Skip will like this. I've got Sack winning this game. <laughs> so this could be a make or break for our next week results, Black. Right. right. Hey, hey, let's pit Skip and uh, Ramon against each other. See how that works out. Right. <laughs> All right. So uh, for the fifth, we have a slate of games. We have Minnesota versus Denver. Leak, who you got? Uh, Minnesota versus Denver. I got Denver. I also have Denver as well. All right. We have Utah versus Brooklyn Nets. Black, who you going with? I'm going with Utah, man. I got uh, I got Brooklyn. All right. On the sixth, we have Boston versus Miami. Leak, who you got? I got Boston. I'm also going with Boston. Shout out to Perk. <laughs> All right. We have the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Black, who you going with? I'm going with New Orleans. I got New Orleans as well. All right. On the seventh, we have the Cleveland Cavaliers versus Memphis Grizzlies. Leak, who you got? I'll see. Cleveland versus Memphis. I got Cleveland. I also have Cleveland. All right. Uh, we have a highlighted game here. Dallas versus Denver. Black, we'll start with you. This is a tough one, uh, but I am going with Dallas on the road. I've got Denver. I got mm -hmm. Denver. All right. Uh, this should be a fun one. On the eighth, we have Charlotte versus New Orleans, the ball boys. Lee, who you got? Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> This was a tough one. Hey, Leak right? hey, Leak wins. It don't matter. <laughs> hey, I like the way, hey, like way got Lavar Ball on this one, man. <laughs> no, no. You know what? I'm. I, hey, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with the Charlotte Hornets. I just feel like, I feel like Melo might have the start by then, and if he does, you got him and Lonzo starting against each other, and I think that if that's Melo's first game starting, I feel like he does galvanize the squad. And they, they beat a better team than, than what they should. So I, I'm going to definitely say uh, Charlotte. I've dubbed this game the Triple B Classic. <laughs> uh, and uh, aside from Leak's bloviation, I know, he, I know he really is a huge fan of Melo and he thinks Melo can make Charlotte a winner. But uh, I'm going with the obvious choice. New Orleans is a better team. All right. Uh, the next game is Orlando versus Houston. Black, we'll start with you. Uh, I got Houston on this. Although Orlando look real nice right now, yeah. I got uh, I got Houston as well. Although Orlando does look real nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> so on the ninth, we have the San Antonio Spurs versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Leak, we'll start with you. Uh, let's see, the Spurs versus. I got the Spurs. I got the Spurs. Hey, I've been counting the Timberwolves out a lot lately, man. But yeah, I got yeah. The Spurs. Facts. This one was tough too. Uh, I got I got Minnesota as well, but that one San Antonio looks pretty decent. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we have uh, Sacramento Kings versus the Portland Trailblazers. Black, we'll start with you. I'm going with uh, Portland. I think uh, Dame is going to go on a tear now that he sees all the hatred uh, Ramon's been spewing online. So I'm going with uh, Portland. Hey, hey, look, man. I gotta. I, I'm. I'm gonna say it now. I got a 50 piece coming this game. All right, a 50 piece from Tyrese Halliburton. 
Whoa. I got Portland. I got Portland losing to the Kings. All right. Ooh, okay. All right. So on the tent, we have the Los Angeles Lakers versus Houston. Uh, Leak, we're gonna start with you. Hey man, you already know what it is, man. You see what the shirts say. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we already know it's Laker gang, and I'm gonna go with them over uh over Houston's confusion. All right. <laughs> I've got the Lakers as well over heavyweight Harden and the Houston Rockets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And for our last pick em of the week, we have the Raptors versus the Golden State Warriors. Black, who you got? Ramon's going to love this. I'm going with Golden State again. The Raptors look terrible. They look worse than Golden State. So, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm definitely going to go with the Raptors this game, man. Uh, I feel like they got something that Golden State just doesn't have, and that's consistency. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm going with the Raptors. They're both consistently bad. They are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a great episode, fellas. How you guys feel about this, today's episode, man? Yo, man, I just want to say one thing, man, and I'll turn it to Lee. I think Noah Hezzy, the community is the best hoop fan community out of any show or conversation I've ever been a part of. So shout out to y'all, man. You guys are amazing, honestly. Yeah. No cap. Hey, hey, man. I really just got a second what Black said on that. I mean, the, the comments just go so hard, right? <laughs> uh, so I love that about the show. It, it, it definitely keeps us on our toes. So anybody who's watching, you know, definitely like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So that way you could be here and you could get in the comments when the show start. But uh, yeah, man, I, I love it. And shout out to Ramon for coming on. Mm-hmm. I mean, he he came on. I mean, he literally looks just like he does in the comments, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so hey, 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 hey but look, in. hey, I'm not letting anybody come in and steal the show. All right. <laughs> Ramon, <laughs> and anybody else that comes on the show, you're not gonna steal our platform. All right. <laughs> this is our show. Okay. Absolutely, man. So this has been a great episode. And you, you heard Malik, man. Please be sure to subscribe. Uh, and and you know what? Do us another bigger favor. You're already doing so much for us, but tell somebody, right? Tell three people about the No Hezzy Hoop Cast, man, because we're gonna be here every Monday. So we hope to see you. And uh till next time, man. That's all we got. Yeah. Peace out.